Hi everyone. So this is a product review of the uh, Red Light Ultra Olmo 20. Now this is a heavy duty uh, trail running long distance backpack for running. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very complete product. Uh, now let me show you the details about it and tell you about how I used it. I've been running over a thousand kilometers with it and I have, uh, have had time to, uh, to really see what it's capable of. So let me show you a little bit closer. Now this is a 20 liters backpack. So it's quite big. As you can see inside there is quite a lot of space. Now most of the space is concentrated on the down of the on the this part of the of the backpack so it will be resting on your hips quite low. Uh, the, the upper part is slimmer and uh, you have a lots of pockets. So this is the standard configuration and you have an add-on which is this pack avant ultra which goes in front. Now this is only necessary on very long distances and if you need more than one day of running. Clearly the 20 liters is more than enough for any one day run and if you don't need to a place to sleep to carry with you. So no tent, nothing like that. So let me show you uh, its qualities. Now first, it's quite robust. Uh, it's, it has a very original and quite unique uh, hanging system, which is that when you use it, first you have this, which is the lower part attachment. How do I say? This is an elastic part. So you hang it like this and it goes on the other side. Now you can hang some little sticks here for running, which I don't use. This doesn't hold really well, so it's basically just for maintaining. But the main holding system goes right here. And it's quite original because it's not very high and it's designed not to pressure on your lungs. Now it works quite well, I've been using it uh, for all this time and I have to say I'm quite uh, glad about this. Now the bottles go here and the bottles, let me show you, they are very special, this is a specific red light design. Uh, now as you can see, uh, when you put them in, they settle in like this. So. Basically, they don't, uh, they're not a problem when you run, because you hold it here, and uh, this, this little part uh, goes this way. Now, when you need to suck on it, you just turn it and go like this. Now it works fine. Now, the good part about this is it's very useful. Really, really useful. It's easy to use. You don't have to, to pull them out. Uh, they're just, they're coming in ready to use. They have 750 milliliters, and now their specific design is like this, so they go deep in the bottle. Now the problem with this design, there are two of them. The first one is if you put any powder or any sugary, uh, sugary uh, liquid in it, it gets, uh, it gets infected quite fast, there are bacteria developing in it, and you can clean it of course, but you have to do it every day, and you have to do it with a specific brush because otherwise it will develop. Now, the second little problem I had is uh, uh, with some kind of liquids, uh, as soon as you go a little bit forward, or even if you just, it shakes a little too much, uh, these are the two little spots uh, where uh, air comes in when you suck on it, and water comes out and uh, drops on you on the, on the backpack. So that's a little problem I've had with it, but its qualities are, are better than its defects. So it's a very useful product, uh, as, as I found out. Now, the biggest design flow that I had with this uh, with backpack is these elements. Now, if you come a little bit closer, you'll see that I had to resue, restitch this. Now, since the first day, I've had this problem with the bottle holders which is that it just, it couldn't hold, it was too strong, the bottles with the whole water just pushed, pulled too much on it, so this is used to hold it, but I've had all of this uh, open up, and the same thing happened on the other side, 
and also on the other side. So as you can see right now, this is what happened, it gave way. So it's not a, a huge problem, but it happened since the beginning, so it means that to me it's a design flaw and it can be quite a problem because you have to resue it. Now this is a red light product, so this means that you might know it, they have a little bit of a weakness on stitches and on products. This is really, really light. This product is not heavy at all. Uh, it's really light. It doesn't weigh much. So this is a great advantage. Now the problem with this is the material. Now the material is solid and it's gonna live its life, but there is something rubbing against it. It's gonna give, give way quite fast. So. What I had is, I had several places where it started in the inside giving way and I had to use uh, some material to re-glue uh, re it. So you have to know and understand when you buy this backpack, it's really light, so this does mean that the material is not the most solid one and it's gonna give up. It's natural, it's natural user of the backpack and this is both the quality of the red light design, which is it's extremely light, and its defects. Now, as to other aspects. Inside, if you come, if you come closer, you have a pocket to put your water, uh, water pocket. And you have two folders to, to hold it in place. Now, what I had, the problem I had is, with a fully uh, plastic design, uh, which means that when you don't have a specific holder on top of the water pocket, this might uh, allow it to, uh, to break on the top. So I advise you to use a water pocket that has a solid handle on the top where you can fix this. Uh, and also, which, what is important to know is the backpack there is nothing here, so it's just plain material. You only have something here and here. So this means that you, you, should, not, you, you should not use a, bag, a water pocket that has something solid here, because it will rub against your back and it will hurt you. Same thing goes for anything you put here. If you put something pointy or with uh, a little bit too hard, it will, it will rub against your back and it will be a problem. So that's important to know when you pack it. Now, you put everything that takes place and is heavy on the down, uh, on the down of the backpack. And the good thing about the backpack is you have two very wide pockets on the back. Now, there are, you can put quite a lot of things here. I, I used it quite a lot, and the good thing is I had never have I have never had anything fall out of it. So it holds really well. But when you use it, if you put too much or too heavy stuff, this will uh, pull on it and it will end up be less resistant. So I had it on both sides So that's something again that you can't really avoid It's the design of the product and at some point it will it won't hold as well. So you have to be aware of that now The pockets you have is you have two pockets here above the the, the bottle holders You have one open bottle here open pocket here small one and you have one very useful closed pocket here where you can put quite a lot of stuff, it's quite big I can put my whole hand in it it holds quite well now I use this to put everything that I use on the run uh, so it means everything sweet, everything I need to take during the run it's really great and you can use the back pockets to put everything when you stop or you can even get there so that's a thing to know, you can't get to everything in the pocket you cannot pull out everything, uh, but uh, you can still access it easily, especially the parts that you keep the closest to you. Now, to finish the, with the pockets, you also have this, which is a little pocket on top, uh, which is a good thing to keep your valuables, and, uh, and you have this pocket, which is actually quite, there's quite a lot of volume here, and you can put, for instance, your uh, coat or something you need to, uh, to pull out easily. And in the, in the inside, right here, you have a closable pocket which is designed specifically for, uh, for also valuables and stuff like that. The product holds really well on your shoulders. It's well designed. You don't have a problem with this. Uh, and despite being really light, uh, it still holds really well on uh, and doesn't hurt you. It's well protected here and quite solid enough. Now, 
there, there are two defects that I identified with the products, one of which is this system. Now, this is the Olmo 20 and there is an Olmo 12 that exists. Now, I strongly advise you, if you don't need the 20 liters, do not take this backpack, take the 12 liters, despite the little difference in cost. And the reason is that if you don't put a lot of products here, the system that is designed to compress it, it doesn't go a really long way. You'll have things moving around. When you put stuff in it, this actually, this system, it's useful when you need to compress it a little bit, but it doesn't go the whole way. So you really need to be thinking of the way you, you are going to use the product. So take the 20 liters only if you need the 20 liters. Take the 12 liters if you need less. The problem I, might, I have had with this product too is that I have this part rubbing a little bit against my backpack. So that's only on a whole day run, day after day. But other from that, the, the biggest defects of this product are that you can't compress it and the lightweight materials that make it so that uh, by natural use it is going to rip apart, to get destroyed. So you have to know that it's going to have a limited lifetime if you use it a lot. Now still, I have been running a thousand kilometers with it. I had between 10, 10 and 14 kil kilograms carrying around and it's still alive and it still can work a little distance. So that's it. Now, this has an extension. And this is, for the really heavy duty, long distance runners, this is a very useful object that allows you, when you run and you, you need more than what the backpack can carry, you basically get 20 plus five. Now, let me show you a little bit about this design. Now, this connects in three ways. You can clip it here, on the side of the bottle, and this is the main holder. You have a secondary holder, which is right here, and you attach this when you, when you start using it on the side, and you go clip it so it holds well on the side. And the third clip goes on the bottom, and is here, and this is actually the second holder that you normally use on the backpack, on the downside, which is right here. Now, this goes inside and allows you to hold it. Now, what you can put in it, you can put everything you use during a run. And you can put quite a lot of things. It's quite big, actually. And you have the inner compartment with a small pocket inside. And you have the two bottle holders on the side that you can use, for instance, I use this to put my garbage in it, my trash. And it was really nice. And these pockets, when you use this, you can put your valuables in here, you can just easily get them out, get them in. It's really a very useful product. Now, again, uh, it has a defect, which is that, uh, which is also a defect that the product has for me, but this is a very complicated matter when you run. There is a natural pull on all of the hanging systems. So, what I had is this let go little by little. So if you want to be able to adjust the system, the hanging system, you have to keep it loose. So little by little it's gonna let go and you're gonna have to pull it again and pull it again. And the same thing goes for here. Now, I have never managed to make it work so that when I go down fast, this doesn't bounce. So it was bouncing like this and I ended up with quite a lot of rubbing uh, inflammations. But I made it work in the end and I still think that despite its flaws, uh, it has some very good qualities and you should consider this product as uh, one of the best for this high volume for running specifically. Now, a last thing is you can add using standard hanging systems on the, back, on the bottom of the backpack, uh, something like a tent or anything that you need to put here a sleeping bag, something that you need to put outside the bag and I don't advise you to put something that will be too big because it will come and hit your uh, your bottom but uh, it's very useful, it works well and it's this is quite a sturdy system. Now the last detail again that I want to show you is I use this to hang um, a solar panel on the back side of the backpack using these free hanging little systems and I was able to keep it here 
and use the pockets to have uh, to have my uh, batteries in it. You can hang, you can use this and this to hang anything you want that is quite big here, to dry stuff, etc. You just need to consider buying a specific uh, hanging system, uh, which you can find easily in any climbing uh, store. So that's it. So basically, my review of the Olmo 20, uh, Ultra Olmo 20 by Red Light is very good. And uh, I do think, so I, I don't really have a comparison to other, pro other products of this nature specifically, but I was really satisfied with it, I used it quite a lot, and I do think that it will live up to its expectation. So thanks a lot for watching, and have a good day.